Secondly, is the demand of the examination. See, the recently you guys might be knowing this case, the syllabus, the pattern of the exam has been changed. Okay, what is the change in the pattern up till now? Up till now, the mains used to be in the MCQ manner. What do you mean by MCQ? Multiple choice questions. Okay, means you were given four options and you need to select one from them. But since 2023, or you can say from the next year, from 23, the things are going to change. Now, in the mains, you will not be solving the MCQs, but you will be writing your answers. Or in simple terms, what to say that your mains has become descriptive. Guys might have got this particular thing. So, what are the pros and what are the cons of having your exam as descriptive? Okay, first thing I'll tell you. See, now what you need to do is trace the trend. Means what? See, you have six topics. We'll be discussing the six topics. What was the scenario up till now? Means what was the scenario till the time when the means was MCQ man? Every topic had some weightage. Okay, there were six topics, and see, biotechnology was given the huge weightage. You can say that almost 12 questions, 40 questions were asked initially for 40 marks in the mains GS paper 4 at that part, at this particular time. But now you can say biotechnology had nearly 12 questions, the highest weightage, and every topic, whatever was mentioned in the syllabus, was carrying some sort of weightage with it. Okay, we are going to discuss the syllabus today, the new syllabus. I'll be giving an insight of though the syllabus has been mentioned in four words, or sorry, four lines. Our syllabus is just mentioned in four lines, but this four lines. What all things can be inculcated in these four lines? We'll be discussing today. Okay, so let's st uh, start with the having a comparison. I told you initially every topic there are basically six topics, and every topic had some sort of weightage. Okay, some sort of weightage means every topic represented one or two questions in the main. But now scenario has changed. What is the change in the scenario? Now you will be having just four questions. The descriptive man. Okay, just four questions and. You need to select the topics based on the trend. Means what? You need to analyze the previous year questions. Okay, this we, used, we do for UPSC. What we do? We trace the topics. Whichever topics are repeated for two times, in the third year, the topic would not be asked. Okay, so there is a fixed trend. We'll get to know once we get the papers. Okay, and see, this is a new pattern. So we don't have any chance to trace the trend. We, we guys would be the first to face this particular topic. Okay, so and initially, what I suggest is the nature of the paper would not be document dynamic. It would be somewhat related to static only. We'll be seeing this in the later times. Second thing, only four questions would be asked from science and tech. Okay, and now the distribution of questions would be in a different manner. How it would be? Either it would be a 15 marker question or it would be a 10 marker question. So what can you expect from science and tech? See, now it is part of GS3. Okay, in this particular part, now you will be having two 15 marker questions and two 10 marker questions for sure. Okay, means what the weightage has been increased, the weightage of science, though the total is also increased, but the weightage is increased. Initially, it was 40 marks. Now, how many marks are going to get? 30 plus 20, that is 50 marks. Now, science would be accounting for 50 marks. Plus, see if you study the pattern of UPSC. There are no such barriers for GS1, GS2, GS3, GS4. The questions on science and tech are, have been asked in a GS1 paper. Okay. The questions of quality have been asked, some sort of political knowledge have been asked in GS3 papers. So there is no strict barriers as of now. So what you can do now, what we can do is you can use science in elaborating different aspects. Okay, you can use the context of science to elaborate different aspects. This would be the help of science and other means other parts. So, in simple terms, what we'll say is science is not going to give you just 50 marks. It is going to give you a new dimension in all the aspects to write your answers, to write your essays, to show how India is developed. In every circumstance, you can use some examples from science to portray that yes, you have something in your context to represent about the India. So these are the things, these are the trends that we have studied. Now, to get an idea of what exactly syllabus, I have told you what would be the nature. This would be the nature. Okay. Two questions of 15 marks and two questions of 10 marks. This would be asked. And see, now it is not the case. Okay. One topic, one question. It's only four 
questions would happen from different topics. This is not the case. They can ask you two questions on biotechnology only. They can ask you two questions on IT, information technology also. So there is no such thing. There is no such barrier that every topic could be given clear weightage as it was in the old pattern. Okay. The new pattern, what you will be seeing is there is no stiff uh, categorization. Okay, a question, we need to ask question. Uh, in this particular topic, we need to ask one question. They can differentiate it based on current affairs. So how current affairs manipulates the question? Let's try to get an idea. A short idea we'll try to get. Okay. See, for MPSC, we don't have descriptive papers. So what we'll do, we'll take the example of UPSC to tell you how exactly the current affairs are used to frame your questions. Okay. So I'll give you some examples. The first thing, okay. I'll be talking about the defense first. Okay. So you might be knowing that India as of now is a, is a great defense power. It is growing its influence in the international affairs. Uh, to such a level that as of today, USA is saying that India is its strategic defense partner. This was the statement given by Donald Trump when he was the president. This is a big statement or huge statement. It stated India to be a strategic defense partner of USA. Okay, why? Because as of today, if you can see, India is having the most deadliest paper. You must be knowing about them, but I'll just put some of them in front of you. The first one is NAG, a missile called as NAG. Have you heard about this particular missile, NAG? I just elaborate what exactly is NAG. It is a missile which is possessed by India and it is having a property of anti tank. What do you mean by anti tank? See, if you are having a tank, everyone knows what is tank? You might have seen. You might have seen this tank in the movies and all. Okay. So, what happens is we have a missile called as NAG. What are the achievements of these missiles? That if this missile is fired on a tank, it is anti tank. Means what? Within seconds, there will be no evidence of a tank present at that particular place. Such a strong missile India is having. Not only restricted to this, but India has also made a satellite, sorry, a missile. What is it called? It is called as ASAT missile. I hope you guys have heard about this. See, have you guys seen the movie Pokhran about that John Abraham testing? It was not named Pokhran, I guess. It was named Parman. Yes, you guys might have seen that particular movie. In this, it is shown that USA used to spy on us. It used to check that whether India is engaged in nuclear test or not. So, now, as of today, no one can spy on us. Why? Because we have developed a technology called as ASAT missile. What is ASAT missile? It's called as anti-satellite missile. If someone is spying on us, then we have a capability to destroy his satellite completely. These are the achievements which India has made. Okay, so ASAT missile. So, continuously India is growing, growing, growing. To have a safety, okay. So, who is more concerned for the safety? It is Russia. Everyone knows this. Okay, Cold War era. We are learning them in history and all. So, Russia is of major concern. Or Russia is very concerned with the security. After Russia, you can see Israel. Why? Because Israel, from all the sides, it is surrounded by enemies. But we are doing this particular thing. Often India is compared with Israel. Why? Because as India is surrounded by its enemies, here you have Pakistan, okay, here you have China. As India is surrounded by its enemies, in a similar way, Israel from all its sides is surrounded by its enemies. And still it is surviving and still it is strongest. Okay, there was a war. You will study in history. Israel versus all the Islamic countries surrounding Israel. Only Israel versus all the countries surrounding Israel. Okay, and who won? Obviously, it was Israel. That's why you have Israel today. Okay, it was a fight, historic fight. We'll not discuss about this. So we will be seeing it in world history. But see, why Russia was famous for defense? It has introduced a system. What was it called? It was called S four hundred air defense system. Okay. Now, what India did? You might be knowing that India and Russia are supposed to be the greatest friends. Okay. Even in the nineteen seventy one war. You might be knowing that Pakistan, we were engaged in a war with Pakistan that particular time. USA came to Bay of Bengal and said that if you won't withdraw from Pakistan, what we'll do will attack on you. Means to India, to Indira Gandhi. This statement was given by US military general. What he said that if you won't withdraw from the Pakistan, means it is Bangladesh as of today. If you don't withdraw from Bangladesh, what we'll do? We'll attack on you. Okay. At that time, our army was very small. You might be knowing this. It was just a development phase for India. And US Army, World War I, World War II are the proofs of US Army. Okay, 
so it was very difficult scenario for us at that particular time only one phone call changed the fate of india indira gandhi made a phone call to russian president and that president called us military general that if you are attacking from the pakistan side then we will stand from india side and that changed the whole motive agar wo nahi hota then we will not be having bangladesh bangladesh kabhi banta nahi it would be our pakistan pakistan would dominate on us because us would have attacked us. so these are the things that india and asia share a historic relationship we will be seeing about that also in science and tech so india was engaged in a deal to take this particular air defense system what is this air defense system i'll tell you okay if this is my threat okay i'll be deploying my air defense system over here if this is your threat let's say this is your threat if you are attacking on me with the missile what my system would do it would neutralize that missile means what when your missile is coming to my see let's say it is your country territory and this is my territory if you are firing a missile to my territory what would i would be having i would be having a system what it would do it would neutralize it here itself means it would not harm second it would not harm to my civilians i hope you are getting this particular thing. air defense system. so india engaged with russia in a deal to purchase this particular thing s400 air defense system but this was a concern with usa what us said if you purchase this we will implant too many sanctions on you. okay we will put too many sanctions on you this was the issue with this not happened as this was an issue what happened upsc asked the question why s400 air defense system is supposed to be superior to all the other system elaborate are you guys getting the context why such question comes and see if you see upsc's paper from the last 4 years every year they are asking a question on cyber security why because ncrb you know ncrb what is ncrb yes it is national criminal record bureau ncrb is national criminal record bureau it is saying that in, in it talks about the crime rate in india okay it talks about how crimes are proliferating or how crimes are increasing in india what it say cyber crimes today are having the greatest proportion than any other crimes or the increasing proportion of cyber crime is greatest amongst all the other crimes and that's why you can hear different different things in the context of cyber things okay you might have heard about the software called as pegasus okay you you guys might have heard about ransom what is ransomware you might have wanna cry petya what they do let's say unique academic server okay we are having important data about the lectures and all we are providing it to you what would happen certainly i am teaching you suddenly someone attacks my computer okay and here you will be having a skull face in this way and there would be a message transfer so many bitcoins to this particular account or else we will delete your data or kisi ko bhi le ke aao wo isko nahi khol pay bring any other top hacker you would not be able to solve this particular issue so this particular thing is called as ransom attack okay they would lock your computer and they will ask you for payment they can't ask you for the legal tender so that's why they would be asking you payment in okay so this particular thing is called as ransom attack cyber security is of major concern in the recent times so that's why you can see from the last 4 5 years every year one question has been asked from cyber crimes okay you might uh, know what is the capital of india is there any need to think on it it is near delhi for sure what is the technological capital of india very correct this bangalore but if i ask you what is the cyber crime capital of india do you know this Or you can say from where the cyber attacks takes place, or which is the place? Online students? There is a web series on Netflix based on it. Yes. You can say it is a university for cyber attacks. People go over there and they have been taught how to call, how to take OTPs, how to hack someone's server. Okay. the training di jati hai whatever you get the calls your atm card has been blocked 
we are we are talking from hdfc bank generally they prefer sbi and hdfc why because they centralized bank and most of them 10 mein se 8 logon ka account in dono banks mein hota hi so let's say they will ask you this we are talking from sbi or hdfc okay this is the thing chalo little bit jamtara a place where cyber hacking or the cyber crimes have been taught so we are going to discuss about this all things in this particular topic i hope you are getting this okay so this would be the nature uh, cyber crimes are increasing and that's why the questions on cyber crimes are also increasing this is the trend you need to trace your current affairs because the syllabus is not just science and technology if you read the syllabus have you guys read it what is it written science and technology a word is added to it and that word gives an open gate for current affairs what is that word developments science and technology developments development means what we are giving an open gate to current affairs whatever is new you will take it just i'll tell you the morning news today okay what a statement came for the ministry of road transport just now i was reading when i was sitting down what it said now as a pilot basis project okay what government is going to do you might be doing fast tags if you have ever visited mumbai you might have seen How how clogged this fast tag areas are. So now what government is going to do? It is going to get rid of this toll nakas or toll plaza. How government is going to have a satellite connection? Okay, how many kilometers you are going to travel on your highways? Only that much toll would be connected. Okay, means what? See, let's say this is the full length of highway, and the full uh, length charge is sixty rupees. Just assume it. Okay, so if I have entered this highway from here. And then use this highway for this much time. I'm going forward, so I'll not be paying sixty rupees. I'll be just paying forty. Are you guys getting it? So for how much distance you have used the highway, you'll be paying for this part only that much. Time. So how we are going to do this? For this, we are going to launch a new GSAT satellite. We'll be discussing about this later. And Gadkar ji has given a statement on this particular thing that we are going to totally revamp with the toll plazas. Initially, it would be near to Delhi. Then it would come in. Mumbai Pune area, and then it would be proliferated in whole of the Maharashtra. So initially, at the pilot level, it would be in Delhi. Still, it is not mentioned that this will start. Going to happen. But what we can assume is initially every pilot pilot project regarding anything start from Delhi or Mumbai. These are the two hubs, major hubs. Okay. So I hope you are getting this. So this is a new technology that we are going to go forward. Developments. Okay. These all things come under that. I hope you guys are getting this. Is that clear? Next thing what we can say is e-learning. Did In two, did you think, do you think that in 2018, India had an e-learning setup? We had it, but was it was it that developed? No. Who gave it a developmental chance, or who gave it a boost for development? Covid, because everything was stuck, everything was standstill, and to have a motion or to have a move for the education. We need to go for e-learning in the COVID era. Okay, and see, the developments are in front of you. Initially, Unit Academy, you might not be knowing this. Before 2019, we never went online. We were completely restricted to offline syllabus. Same goes with Wajiram. Might have heard about this, but you're premier institute of GPSC. Okay, they still do not prefer online education. Okay, but. See, time comes, but we need to change with the time. If you are not evolving, then you will die. Okay, there was a famous theory given by Darwin. What he said: the fittest would survive. If you are not fit, you will never survive. These are the things that you keep in your mind. So this would be an overview or overview. And to just discuss about the science and tech or what to read about this particular subject. This subject has its genesis dynamic. Means what? Current affair is the only fuel for this particular subject. Whatever is in the current affair, they would be asking questions directly. Okay, means what? They will follow approach. What is it called? It is called as current to convention. Means whatever is going on in current, they would be asking you questions based on that in convention. This would be the nature of science and technology. Is that clear? Are you guys getting? So in this particular lecture, we will be discussing what all things. Comes under this particular part or syllabus. I'll just put syllabus in front of you, and we'll have a discussion on that particular part. Or in simple terms, we'll see what all things are constituted in that particular syllabus, or how to interpret the terms 
good in syllabus okay just a minute i'll just open that part yes so you can see this in your gs paper 3 see your gs paper 3 okay has a mention of science and technology development technology over technology was given over here and see to elaborate this particular part what all things come, comes under the science and technology you have four lines we'll be discussing about those four lines and i'll be telling you what all things are constituted in those four lines okay the first thing what it is saying science and technology the first word comes over here is development what it is giving it is giving you an open gateway for current affairs so whatever would be going in current you need to opt it you need to take it into your considerations and go for okay first in development so okay next comes and the applications and effects in everyday life whatever applications we are having i'll tell you one more thing recently you might be knowing this a day before yesterday in studies a day before yesterday a news came what was it iphones who is going to manufacture iphones in india tata a new thing what would the thing what would how would it benefit you the cost of iphone would be reduced why because the assemblage would be done in india which is now done in china are you guys getting this particular thing so how this would be affecting in your day to day life we need to say this okay who started e vehicle revolution a company called as tesla you guys might have heard about it tesla but in india if you see there are too many cars as of now which are learning uh, which are running on electricity the best example is again said by tata nexon ev after that there are too many hybrid models but purely running before that we have mahindra e20 you might be doing this particular things okay not the thing to be discussed but how these developments are helping in your day to day life ola s1 pro you might have seen this particular thing the vehicles e vehicles which we are having chetak whatever it might be so how they are applied or how they are working and how they are affecting your day to day life you need to see this okay the most important concept in this particular part i'll tell you is generic medicines just tell me how many of you know about generic medicine just raise your hands if you know only 3 4 of you. online students how many of you know about the generic medicines just raise your hands only one four chapter i'll just explain you what is generic medicine in a short way it's very easy part to understand see what are generic medicines if let's say this is a farm example a hypothetical example it is not a real example okay i'm just taking a hypothetical example let's say this is a farm he is suffering from a cancer okay and what usa has promised usa has promised that it has a medicine okay it has a medicine which could completely cure the cancer i'm telling you it is a hypothetical example okay don't think it is a real i just want to tell you what is generic medicines that's why i'm taking this example okay what usa says i have a medicine and if you consume this particular medicine your cancer would go off okay this is the thing but what you also says you need to consume 10 tablets to get cured from the cancer and what is the cost of one tablet the cost of one tablet is let's say 100 dollars what is the cost of one tablet 100 dollars means if you want to take 10 tablets you need to pay how much to pay 1000 dollars can this bechara is poor farmer can he afford this okay even if he sells his village or sorry not village his farm then to he can't afford it so what would happen now he wants this medicine but he cannot afford it so here comes into picture government of india what government of india does see there is a trips agreement which says this medicine whatever this medicine is what they need to do they need to specify all the content of this particular medicine behind it whatever is selling kya kitne proportion mein add kiya you need to mention everything in this particular tablet script okay so what indian government would do it would employ a group of scientists what they would do they would collect this elements and they would try to make this medicine in india okay now what was the cost if they made successful is the best company for it you might have heard about that name now the best generic medicine uh, what it is manufacturer sikla 
what they would do now see they have made this medicine from this content initially it was charged 100 now they would launch this particular tablet for 10 rupees that's what them does they samajh mein aa rahi hai so this is a thing this medicine which are produced in india by studying the contents of this particular thing is called as generic medicines is that clear anyone to knowing this in india today as of today india is called as pharmacy of the world why because most of the pharmaceutical instruments in the world are supplied by india when the covid was on its worst and covid came to india india did not know what is ppe kit so we were importing ppe kit from france we were importing it from russia we were importing it from uk usa we were importing this from them same goes with ventilators we had a shortage dekha hoga news mein har kisi ne dekha hai nahi baat nahi hai ki ventilators were in shortage ppe kits were in shortage but do you know what is the scenario today india is a net exporter of this particular thing okay india is in such a great in this particular part you can say india is net exporter of this thing. so we'll be studying this all things okay what india is doing it is making the things in itself okay i'll tell you an example how we have evolved okay so different countries had different planes you want to know in this f15 f12 mirage there are different planes for different countries india was initially lacking with the technologies but what india do if i am purchasing five mirages what i'll do i'll put three in my air force and two mirage aircraft should be taken to hal what is hal hindustan aeronautical limited i'll take two aircraft over there i'll just invert them and see how exactly they are made what is their construction what is their build and from that we we'll try to make our indigenous aircraft so by doing this india in itself but not be doing this but has made one of the fastest combat aircraft in the world the fastest combat aircraft in the world is possessed by india do you know what is its name very correct its name is tejas how india has learned from others this is the thing what india usually does okay initially a thing was present in india which was called as brain drain what is brain drain the best example of this is sundar pichai satya nadella what they are doing they have learned in india they developed themselves in india but to whom they are serving they are serving to us government so you can say the us firms us tech firms what is brain gain we are bringing outside people from india or the one who has gone they are coming back to india cyrus mr who just recently left now the best example of brain gain because we will be discussing how the indian policies have transformed the nature of brain drain to brain gain will you see all these things okay so this was the first part about the syllabus just a minute we'll go back so what we have discussed yeah so development what do you mean development we have discussed an application effects in our day to day life if there is a change in any technology how would it impact in our life you might have seen initially we had 1g afterwards we have 2g thoda sa speed bad gaya us mein bhi khush the then we had 3g speed aur bad gaya then we had 4g now you can see how dynamic the speed has become initially if you need to download a sound or music track it would have it would take nearly 5 to 10 minutes pehle ab ye kaam kitni der mein hota you can play it online okay you have that app savan jio savan and all spotify amazon prime music you can play them simultaneously this is the speed that internet connection is giving to us and now a new revolution is started with the augmentation of 5g what we doing this so speeds are increasing the things are increasing and how this new inventions and how this new developments are assisting you in your everyday life we need to see this as a part of our syllabus okay the question would be framed in such a manner that whatever technology has been developed how would it affect your day to day life the question should be based on that okay i hope you are getting this first part what is the meaning of this first line though there are just three four word important words in it but it has a lot of huge meaning sirf ye words kitne cheezon ko kholte hai hamare liye maine aapko bataya samajh mein aa raha hai i hope you are getting this super computers you might have heard about this i'll tell you the best example of super computer see everyone might be having an app called as aragya setu you might have used it it shows you that in your nearby vicinity this many people have been tested positive this many people have given the samples for testing how it knows all these things 
because there is a super computer implied to check on all these files okay you might have seen the, uh, that covin portal so nice ke bare mein if you want to take vaccine you need to register yourself over there so it is showing a continuous count of the increase in people okay how it is possible it is possible with super computers super computers are developed a new generation and see the best thing about super computers i'll tell you indian metrological department what is scenario tell you it was in the year 2010 to 12 uh, 15 you can say if the metrological department said that it would rain today kya hota tha it was a dark sunshine means whatever predictions they used to give they were completely opposite to but thanks to super computer prithush now whatever commitments are given by this imd indian metrological department they are saying that 4 baje barish girega and you see at 4 o'clock 4 ke thoda sa pehle hi barish hua this is the accuracy which indian metrological department has achieved to do super computers so we are going to see the super computers how they are affecting in your day to day life everything would be did in this particular part okay one more best example of super computer cloud i can say netflix you have too many movies man itna sab kuch jab mobile mein carry kar sakte ho who is giving you this access netflix cloud the best example of cloud so whatever are the new things they are developing and how it is affecting your day to day life we will be seeing this all things in this particular topic science and technology development okay first part second part what you are going to see this one achievements of indians in science and technology okay in india we have to manage wells but what is the thing we are ignoring them they are not giving that importance okay first thing scattering you might be knowing about the scattering what is scattering why sky blue there is a scattering you might be knowing basic physics okay the reason for sky being blue is scattering we know this who gave this particular context it was not raman okay scattering was mentioned forward or the phenomenon of scattering was given by a person called as rayla but a small a kid not kid a teenager you can say not particular teenager as well an amateur guy who was in university educations he came forward and he challenged the concept of rayla and he proved it that whatever concept you are giving is wrong okay you can say a student is proving a scientist that whatever concept you have given is wrong scattering is not what you said or you can say whatever definition of scattering you have given is 60% correct it has 40% anomalies and what are this 40% anomalies was given by a student what was the name of the student he was raman or to be specific cv raman okay and whatever this 40% phenomenon he accept explain this is called as raman we'll see it later abhi sab kuch nahi padunga pehle din mein i'm just telling you this particular thing. this was the thing we said okay everyone knows plants has sensations plant has feelings okay let's say if you take two plants okay you can try this this is my plants you can take them home do rooms mein do plants ko rakho okay in first room you go you play love songs just talk to them just enjoy with their company acha 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 baatein karo plants and the second room you keep second plant just give bad words over chilla pukara karo gussa karo just show negativity in that particular room aur 10 din aise hi karte ho you will clearly see the change in the room where you are having music you are talking with the plants you are enjoying the company of the plants they would grow to a greater extent aur jahan pe aap galiyan de rahe ho plants would eventually die because plant do have feelings this particular thing was also explained by no other european scientist he was an indian can tell me who was he jc jagdish chandra bose okay aise kuch rocket science nahi bol raha hu ncert is mein sab diya hai everything is mentioned in ncert okay everyone knows dna cert to dekha hi hoga somewhat like this okay and it has some genes in it like this kumtaratai dekho ke helical structure double helical structure dna okay now in this dna what you can say there are some pairings okay a t c g there are some nucleotides they pair with each other okay a pairs with uh, g pairs with c and a pairs with t okay 
देर है पेरिंग विद दम इसको नहीं पता टेंशन मत पा सीखने वाले हम सभी दिस वॉज नॉट अ बिग थिंग वेरी इजी थिंग ओके तो यू टू लर्न दिस सो ए पेयर्स विद टी एंड जी सी पेयर्स विद जी सो टू फॉर्म प्रोटीन्स वी नीड सम सेट्स ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर थिंग ओके डू यू नो हु गेव दिस पर्टिकुलर सेट्स ऑफ प्रोटीन्स अगेन I'm not asking you because it was a foreign person. I'm asking because it was Indian now its nature. See, Indians have given this much contribution, but what happened? He got a American citizenship, and that person is called as American. But we say he is an Indian origin scientist. Anyone knows his name? Yes. Nandan is his name. His godfather is Padar. Har Gobindan. हर गोविंद पुराना एन इंपॉर्टेंट पर्सन इसी पर्सन की वजह से टुडे वी आर हैविंग अ टेक्नोलॉजी टू आइडेंटिफाई कोविड इफ ही डिड नॉट गिव हिज कंट्रीब्यूशन ये कभी बनता ही समझ में आ रहा है हाउ इंपॉर्टेंट दिस साइंटिस्ट आर सो इंडियन साइंटिस्ट हैज डन मिरेकल्स बट वी आर समवेयर डिलीटिंग और यू कैन से वी आर इग्नोरिंग देयर कंट्रीब्यूशंस That's why we need to put this part in a Tessy Thomas. Name sounds nice, can't? Is it any sound? But when I'll tell you what she has done, सबको याद आ जाए. Tessy Thomas. चलो ये तो बताओ. What is other name for APJ? What is he called? Yes, And what is she called? Missile bomb. Okay, you have not heard about Tessie Thomas, but she is an important person. I'll tell you who she is. Who movie did she? Mars Mission. Sharman Joshi. But I say that a lady who is with curly hair is shown. She optimizes the space. कम से कम जगह में ज्यादा चीजें बैठाने की कोशिश करती है इफ यू हैव सीन दैट पर्टिकुलर मूवी यू गेट टू नो अबाउट दिस शी इज टेसी थॉमस ओके एन इंपोर्टेंट पर्सन अ प्रोजेक्ट गाइड इन मार्स मिशन शी वाज अ वेरी इंपोर्टेंट पर्सन बट सी यू डोंट नो अबाउट हर इसके बारे में सबको पता है अगेन हियर पैट्रार्की कम्स इनटू पिक्चर दे आर नॉट सीइंग सोसाइटी अगेन लिव इट सो दिस इज अ थिंग दैट वी शुड यू शुड आल्सो नो सम फीमेल Contributions and main contributions both are equally important. So what we are going to do in the upcoming lectures, okay? Her lecture me, one or two scientists can we discuss? Karenge, whenever we move forward, because this is the part of syllabus. And UP has also asked some questions on them. Elaborate the contributions of Raman. Elaborate the contributions of so and so person, Chandra Shekhar. Okay? Again, one big thing. World did not know how black holes are formed. Okay? The concept of black hole means what? See, let's say sun is a star. Everyone knows this. Okay? Which star? After ending its life, become a black hole. Again, this concept was given by an Indian. Who was he? Chandrasekhar. What is said? Any star, it might be any star, who is having its mass more than one point four times of sun. Any star which is having more than one point four times of sun would be converted into a black hole when its life ends. और जिसका भी मास 1.4 से कम है इट वुड बी कन्वर्टेड इनटू व्हाइट द्वार अगेन ब्रेन ड्रेन चंद्रशेखर ही वेंट टू यूएसए टू द सिटीजनशिप ऑफ यूएस एंड देयर ही गिव दिस पर्टिकुलर इसलिए इसको यूएसए का माना जाता है दैट्स व्हाई यूएसए हैज लॉन्च एन ऑब्जर्वेटरी अ स्पेस टेलीस्कोप और उसको नाम क्या दिया उन्होंने चंद्र Why just to commemorate his contribution? Brain drain. Example of brain drain. You might be getting this. Is that clear? समझ में आ रहा है क्या होता है? So, who are the different peoples and how they have contributed? Swanti Shanti Swarup Bhatnagar. You might have heard his name. Okay, C S I R. सुना है इसके बारे में? An important institute formed by him. Okay, Vijay Bhatnagar. Have you heard about him? Anyone from IT background or computer science engineering or B C S? Yes. So, have you heard about him, Vijay Bhatnagar? Online students, anyone? Have you ever heard about him? Yes. 
I think he was the one who created supercomputers. Who is he? I think he was the one who created supercomputers. I can't hear you. Uh, Just comment the answer if you know. Anybody who knows the answer, who was Vijay Bhatnagar? Just comment the answer. Yes, supercomputer creator. They can say, but apart from supercomputer creator, what is more important is he has introduced an institute. Which is training, or you can say, which is driving the IT sector of today. Which is that institute? CIDAC. The formation of CIDAC, the structure of CIDAC was reached by him, and it is due to this CIDAC that India today is an IT hub. Most of the countries give their projects to India. Why? Because of this, this has increased the level of Indian technology to a greater extent. CIDAC. And premier institute which is found by him. So, whatever it might be, all the scientists and their contributions will be seen in this particular part. Okay, and seeing them is important because you cannot forget your genesis or who has contributed for your society. And also the questions have been asked on this particular thing. So you need to focus on this part. Ah, uh, very well. Yes, indigenous science and technology, indigenization of technology. Just now I said you one thing. What was it? It was in the context of generic medicines. What we are doing is making it okay. Electric vehicles, Tesla. Tata, it is doing this. Okay, world is running on what you can say hydrogen. We are running our CNG buses on hydrogen. It's CNG in Delhi. Okay, as of now, if you go in Delhi, if you are having a diesel vehicle, आपके vehicle को बाहर border पे ही रुका दे. Your vehicle will not be allowed to enter Delhi if you are having a diesel. Vehicle. Why? Because of Taj Mahal. It is immaterial. अलग अलग reasons से उसके छोड़ दो. But this is the things. So what we are doing, we are opting the technology from outside. We are indigenizing the technology. Okay, I'll tell you one example. Say if you go for a car booking today, a jar of car book for me. Just tell me, if, will you get the car today itself? As of now, the minimum waiting period is three months or four months. Why? Because cars are ready, but car के अंदर एक setup होता है, which is called as EC. पता है क्या होता है EC? In simple terms, it is called as Engine control unit. It controls your engine, okay? And it is based on semiconductors. India is not having this semiconductors. We are dependent on China for this particular thing, and China has restricted the supply. That's why our automobile sector is hampering due to this. This is a delivery jaldi nahi mil gayi. Why? Because we are not having the semiconductor chips, and these semiconductor chips are supplied only by China. China is major producer, major supplier of semiconductors all over the world. Not only to India but all over the world. This is the problem that we are facing. So what India is doing now? There are many problems. From पहले से देखोगे तो जब independence मिला था भूखे नंगे थे हम सभी को पता है okay five percent was the literacy rate five percent can you imagine five percent क्या होता है कि पूरे population country का five percent literacy rate था after that what we did first thing Nehru okay Nehru was very optimistic person what he did he said that India should have at least technological inculcation in Okay, so what he did? Firstly, he established IIT, which was the first IIT. Kharagpur, very correct. The one who said it is very correct. Kharagpur was supposed to be the first IIT. After that, he said engineers hard kali karne wale nahi. Hard kali karne ke liye technical labor chahiye. You want technical labor. So what was the next thing which came to India? It was ITI. Pata ITI? In every district, you are having this ITI. Today. Every district, there is no district where ITI is not present. Okay, just to train the people to perform the basic necessities or basic activities. I T I K. Afterwards, we have I T I. We have engineers, but the technology what we are using. Let's say in I T I you are training welders. In I T I you are tra training drill machine users. But do we have drill machines in India? Do we have welding machines in India? So indigenization of technology was started by Indira Gandhi. But Indira Gandhi did. She made a process of indigenization. So whatever we are dependent on others, what we should do, we should make that things in India. We should bring them in India. And we should carry them forward in India. So this new thing came into power. Then what happened? Computers. Computers came into India. Who introduced them? Tell me who was the reason for introduction of computers in India? Yes. Charles Darwin, India, made this introduction correct. Charles Darwin was the founder. Okay, Rajiv Gandhi, generally the leader, he said Rajiv Gandhi was the promoter of computers in India. At that particular time, he said 
computer would not kill your jobs but would give you great opportunities for the future this was true actually rajiv gandhi was a leader but the main framework was made by made by person called as sam petroda suna hoga iska naam aap logon ne abhi bhi is a famous person sam petroda okay he was the person who jolted down all the policies he was the person who done who has done too many things for this particular the computer the fusion of computer computer came to india then watch by great leader you can say what he said carrying research is not the responsibility of the government or private sector he said research could be done only by the young minds and that's why from that particular time universities were also having the research centers okay universities mein research chalu ho gaya jrf suna apne junior research fellowship this thing was started by vachpai himself and next uh, was he manmohan singh what he did he said that india should invest on research and development just giving the people unko bol rahe karo karo isse kuch hoga nahi jab tak main aapke aapne resource nahi dunga will you develop no so resources supply chain is very important so that time he predicted that india would invest 2% of its gdp on research and development which is not achieved yet still we are in 0.5% ek percent bhi invest nahi karte hum gdp ka research if we do 2% investment in research you know how much us spends it is 13.5% and how much india spending 0.7 year as of today it is 0.7% in this year's budget still we are planning that by the end of 2023 2022 25 sorry india would be spending 2% of its gdp on science and technology development but still we are not even spending 0.1% do to chalo aage ki baat hai still we are not spending 1% and it is a fact which different countries have proved that if you are spending 3% minimum 3% on science and technology development then your country would be lifted uplifted to a greater extent this is proved by various examples we'll be seeing this in upcoming times whatever it is chalo okay so this would be the second part can you see just one line has how many words or how many things hidden in it this is the way of syllabus is poetry they are just giving you words you need to take its interpretation and see upsc is very wide to take interpretations you are knowing this agar nahi bhi pata hai to ghar jao just see some previous year questions you will get to know how wide interpretation does upsc has okay so this is one thing uh, next part you need to have some awareness in the context of it yes awareness in the field of it what do you mean by awareness in the field of it you should be knowing what are the revolutions of it going on or how and where the it has reached the best example of this i'll tell you is today the world is dependent on one thing called as cloud netflix amazon prime okay doesn't matter how star whatever you are having in fact unix server you are getting the recorded videos okay so where they are stored everything is stored on cloud so cloud is one of the most important thing as of today you need to learn what things you are doing in cloud or how cloud is helping you in your daily life after this have you ever seen that if you search on amazon that you need to purchase a mobile okay dekh rahe ho search kiya mobile thode bahut but you have not purchased it i just left it so see if you are opening any other app you will see a notification which shows mobile over there add aata hai mobile ka dekha hai aapne or else if you search the tickets for if you want to go to delhi if you are just search delhi to dekho agar aapke mobile mein go ai view wagera hoga So it will show you hotels of Delhi. It will tell you for hotels of Delhi. How these things are working? There is some someone who is tracing all your data. Whatever your data, whatever you are searching, is in the form of data is stored somewhere. And what is this data called? This data is called as big data. Again, an important part. Okay, cloud, big data. What are these things? What is Wi-Fi? You know everything today. Wi-Fi is everything. Okay, Wi-Fi is a very important thing today. Actually. so wifi is are working you are going to see this particular things so why this called as cell phones do you know why is it called cell phones so now apne isko cell phones bolte hain generally kon bolta hai tv sector mein bolta hai isko cell phones bolte yes in it this phones are called as cell phones can someone tell me why these are called as cell phones online students or offline students anyone Can you share about why these phones are called as cell phones? No one knows. Jason technology gave birth to cell phones. 
CDMA phones are not called as cell phones. Okay, this GSM phones are called as cell phones. Anyone knows? No one. We'll discuss about it later. I'll not invest much time in that. First, we need to complete the discussion of CDMA. Just a minute. Online students, my just a minute. Ajay Mori. Who is Ajay Mori? Can you please mute yourself? Ajay Mori. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes. Can you just please mute yourself? Just a minute. I can't hear online students. I'll just call you. Let's see what is the issue. I can't. I hear you. Sir. Ajay Mori, please mute yourself. Yes, sir. I have muted. I can't hear what you are Just a minute. online students unless you have any doubt please don't unmute yourself because it creates disturbance for everyone uh, those who are listening to me online it creates unnecessary disturbance so just try to not unmute yourself unless you have any queries taking the call okay just a minute let's see if they comes we we'll discuss with them about this particular issue so okay, let's continue. Uh, IT and yes, please guys, just maintain this particular thing that don't unmute yourself unless you have any doubt, okay, because it creates unnecessary disturbance for others. So awareness in IT, whatever developments are going in IT, we need to see this particular thing. Okay, one more thing I'll tell you, the new development that is IoT. Have you guys ever heard about this? Internet of Things, making everything digital means what? If you come to your home. Okay, locks will automatically open. Doors will open automatically. Then, if it is hot outside, thak kya hai? So kya hoga? Thodi dekhi lehi chalu ho jayega to comfort you. After some times, geyser would on. Geyser would automatically on to heat the water, and you will get a water supply. After that, you are hungry. So there would be a toaster would be keeping the food ready for you. Ah, mana online students sa awaz itni thi kya bolte? So there would be uh, what you can say a toaster which is ready for you and in this there is no your interference and see when you are moving out of the house as soon as you are out of the house and you close the doors what happens the lights and every system gets automatically switched off even if you forget to off them it would be off are you guys getting this particular thing so digitized home everything is digital everything is working on its own you did not need to pin yourself between them this particular thing is called as iot internet of things this studying about this iot over here learning this part of iot in this particular awareness in the field of it we'll be seeing this next comes in the context of space okay what we doing this space as of today is very important why it is important because india is continuously engaged in doing too many researches and all okay so everyone knows recently a movie came brahmastra 450 crore i'm not promoting that particular movie I just want to say you that the budget of this movie was four fifty. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
okay let's let's continue again so uh, space we are doing too many things in space the movie uh, brahmastra we are talking about the budget of this particular movie is near to 450 crore it is great you were not be doing this in half the budget of this particular movie okay nearly half you can say nearly half the budget of this particular movie we have sent a particular thing to mars called as mangalyaan in just half the budget we have sent an orbiter to mars under mars orbiter mission okay mangalyaan in half the budget this are is to send okay they have done everything in half the budget we have achieved this how we have achieved this will be discussing in our syllabus the now and then okay so initially the journey of this space program started with the nehru's vision what was nehru's vision see we were free on near 1950s okay and what nehru thought nehru thought that this was the field space where everyone is at the start line if you not enter in this race will be left backward somewhere so what we should do we should come forward at that particular time in parliament everyone opposed him okay everyone see you can see this particular things there is a website you can say kya bol sakte news channel pe pradhan mantri ki series you can see over there it is shown everyone opposed nehru that you are allocating budget for space are you mad today we need to focus on the development of the country see we are down trodden we are just left at misery by the britishers we should focus on our population first and then we should go to the rest development but nehru was very firm on this that science and technology is a new field and if we are developing in this particular sector it would create more jobs it would solve all the problems so he was pretty sure about this and he consulted this with two great persons who were those first one was homi jangir baba okay one of the great person i tell about you he was such a great person that america ko isko gayab karna pada because if he would have been alive that india as of today would be a greater power than he is nuclear bomb ke bare mein sab cheeze isko pata open hammer ke bare mein suna apne robert open hammer he was a person who was first ever to go with the nuclear bomb so was the first ever one who has introduced the nuclear bomb and this particular person was in continuously touch with two persons one was albert einstein and second was homi jahangir baba he was such a great personality homi jahangir baba okay aage jab dekhenge iske bare mein pata chalega isne itne sare initiatives kiye even you know there is a agency called as atomic energy agency international atomic energy agency iska head tha homi baba president tha president okay and iske har ek फैसले को यहाँ पे बहुत ही ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंस दिया जाता है भूमि जहांगीर बाबा वॉज अ ग्रेट पर्सन बट वी आर जस्ट फॉरगेटिंग हिम सो विल जस्ट डिस्कस व्हाट होमी बाबा डिड एंड होमी बाबा एंड ही हैज कंसल्टेड टू वन मोर पर्सन हु वाज हिम हिज नेम वाज विक्रम सारा फादर ऑफ इंडियन स्पेस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ओके इसरो यू माइट हैव हर्ड अबाउट दिस इसरो इसरो हैज स्टार्टेड इट्स जर्नी फ्रॉम लॉन्चिंग द फर्स्ट सैटेलाइट कॉल्ड एज आर्यभट्टा हैव यू हर्ड अबाउट इट फर्स्ट सैटेलाइट aryabhatta and the generation of the revolution is moving in such a pace that today isro is planning a mission called as gaganyaan do you guys know what is gaganyaan what we are doing in it we are going yes yes we are going to launch indigenously means what hum khud karenge kisi help ke bina we are going to launch three astronauts in space they would go to space near to 400 km from the earth they would come back to the earth. okay this awareness you must have okay apart from this you know one more thing called as g p s suna iske bare mein what is g p s global positioning system in our mobiles we are having this or you can say in our mobiles this g p s system is playing a dominant role it is very important in our system because if you want to explore any new area you will never ever dare to go to that area without its assistance okay so who owns gps us army okay and they have whole lens or authority in gps they can manipulate the thing they can do anything okay so this was a concern what was the concern i'll tell you everyone was saddam hussein have you heard about him cruel dictator okay 
what he has said to kill the kuwaiti people he has people he has given guns in the hands of small children and he has said if you form any kuwaiti just shoot him. small kids you have seen in that movie airlift it is clearly shown that was a real case and always and always and always you have heard that britishers go with the policy of white man's burden means we are here to civilize everyone in a similar way usa is in a burden what he says that we are here to protect everyone the human rights responsibility of preservation of human rights is with us this is the perspective of usa so what usa did as this there were too much atrocities in that particular area usa entered into the picture what they did they went in saddam hussein's area and they knew saddam hussein was very cruel matlab kaisa tha wo ke if you had done you have stolen anything from the king he would not shoot you aapko samne rakhta tha aapko missile chhod sakta kitna cruel tha it was very cruel by its nature and usa knew that he would be doing this he would not be using bullets but he would be using missiles on them so what they did let's say uh, this is saddam's area okay what they did they went with the van in this particular area okay i'm not lying about this this is written in a book called inspiring india by nandan nilikni if you have your time you can read that particular book aapko bhi samajh aayega jo main bol raha hu dekh nahi raha hu main kuch it is a real story okay so what they did they had a van in this particular area okay and they employed or you can say they kept four people in this particular van what they did they dropped a small bomb in saddam zaid when he came to know about this what happened his army surrounded this particular van in this particular they asked the people in the van please come out or else we'll kill you no one came so what happened he sent two three generals to go and remove them out they came here they were dying because usa is very development technology कुछ तो किया था जो आ रहे थे मर रहे थे सो नो वन वॉज एबल टू एंटर हो गया तो भाई का आता माझे सडकली हो गया सदम एंड व्हाट ही डिड ही लॉन्च मिसाइल्स ऑन देम एंड सी गाइस दिस फोर पीपल विदाउट यूजिंग एनी गन विदाउट यूजिंग एनी गैस विदाउट यूजिंग एनीथिंग जस्ट दिस फोर पीपल किल्ड ऑलमोस्ट 3/4 और यू कैन से ऑलमोस्ट 80% ऑफ द सदम सर जस्ट फोर पर्स विदाउट यूजिंग एनी Do you know what they did? What they were doing from inside? They were manipulating the coordinates of GPS because GPS works on X and Y coordinates. And what they were doing? They were manipulating the coordinates. I'll tell you what. In in exact, they were doing. Okay. Suppose here, for Saddam, there is an artillery, missile firing gun. They used to fire a missile on this man. So what they used to do from sitting inside? They used to change the coordinates. So the missile here should be here. Where is it? It is going to go here. Are you guys getting this? जो मिसाइल इधर लगना चाहिए था वो जाके कहा लग रहा है इधर। अंदर बैठ के वो सिर्फ कोऑर्डिनेट्स बदल रहा है। ऐसे ही करते करते विद इन टू आवर्स नियर टू टू लैक पीपल इन टू आवर्स जस्ट बाई चेंजिंग द कॉर्डिनेट एक वेपन को हाथ नहीं लगा आए सदम को पकड़ा उसको फांसी दे दी और चले बाइस्टेब्लिशिंग्रेसी इन दैट प्लेस ओके ऐसे कुछ हो गया तो जब ये होता है सबसे पहला झटका किसको लगेगा सगत पहला अपन मन तो ना तो घाबरला तो फाटली इट वॉज रशिया एंड रशिया केम अप विथ इट्स ओन जीपीएस सिस्टम सबसे पहला काम रशिया ने ओके इट वॉज नाउ नेम डॉ फर्स्ट जीपीएस सिस्टम रशिया अब रशिया करता है तो सेकंड लाइन में कौन है डरने वाला इट इज यूके यूके कम्स विद ओन सिस्टम कॉलेज गैलीलियो ओके एंड आफ्टरवर्ड्स यू नो दैट चाइना वाज आल्सो इट कंटिन्यूस फ्रॉम कॉन्फ्लिक्ट्स विद यूएसए तो चाइना में खुद का करता है नेम बाय इंडिया गरीब देश विचार कुछ लेना देना नहीं था हम बोले थे चल माय बाप यूएस माय बाप रशिया वी आर चिल टिल देन बट हमारे साथ भी एक इंसिडेंट हुआ जिसने हमारे आप खोल दी विच प्रूव दैट यूएस एज ए हिस्ट्री कि यूएस किसी का नहीं रहा वर्ल्ड वॉर वन शोड दिस वर्ल्ड वॉर टू शोड दिस कोल्ड वॉर शोड दिस एवरीवेयर वी हैव प्रूफ दैट यूएसए नेवर साइडेड विद वन पार्टी फॉर द होल ऑफ इट्स टाइम के वर्ल्ड वॉर टू में पता नहीं होगा आपको यूएसए वाज अ गेम चेंजर इंडीड ही वाज नॉट द विनर बट इंडीड यूएसए वाज अ गेम चेंजर अगर यूएसए पिक्चर में नहीं आता तो हिटलर को रोकने वाला कोई नहीं We'll see it in world history afterwards. I'll not discuss about that things. Chalo, leave it. Kya pura thana apko? 
What was this question? GPS. GPS. What happened with India? Kargil born. They went up. Dekha picture apne share shop. Dekha gaya apne ko. Okay. Pura sach nahi dekha hai. Thoda dekha. Nandan Nitin pura bolte. What they say? What happened was India at that particular time. What they were doing? Indians. Jab pata chala ki upar gaye. So we had some tanks. We had some artillery. We are firing one. Okay. And this things works on GPS. Ye hum log manual control to nahi karte. They works on G. They work on GPS. Okay. So what happened was initially when we were firing. Okay. Let's say I wanted to target over here. Or let's say. I want to target on the uh, green screen, which is present behind you. Okay, what used to happen if I fired my thing in this way? It used to go over here. If I fired it in this way, it used to go over here. It was not going to the path. Or chalo, man, sakte ki past tak ka accuracy rahega, tolerance rahega sunday. It was going way beyond that particular percentage. So what we did, we called US telegram house time. And the telegram, that mobile or telegram, ni there was a thing called a telegram, fax and all. We send them. What is the issue? They said it would be sorted soon. Which name? They said it would be sorted soon. Which name? They said it would be sorted soon. Which name? Not Indians did at that particular time. Vikram Batra and all. What they decided? That GPS is not going to be our only one. So what they did? They took some dresses. How they were? They were having white coat. Look at the movie. If you are chattering, then it looks like they are mountains. They are stones. And some ice is on you because of that color. It would be looking in that particular manner. So, ऐसे कपड़े पहन के हमारे जो जवान थे दे क्लाइम दैट पर्टिकुलर माउंटेन एंड देन दे हैड अ फायर ओके दिस वाज अ ट्रू सिनेरियो व्हाट रियली हैपेंड ओवर देयर यूएसए बिट्रेड अस एंड आफ्टर दैट पर्टिकुलर टाइम व्हाट हैपेंड आर फॉरेन मिनिस्टर रोड अ लेटर टू यूएस फॉरेन मिनिस्टर थैंक यू व्हाई बिकॉज़ यू डिड नॉट डिड द सेम थिंग व्हिच यू डिड द सद्दाम हुसैन विद अस और अगर यूएसए इसमें इन्वॉल्व नहीं होता ये लेटर पढ़ने के बाद शांत होता है। हमारे बोल देता कि इंडिया से जो ट्रेड करेगा उसको हम लोग बंद कर देंगे बट देर वॉज नो रिस्पॉन्स फ्रॉम यूएस इम्प्लाइज दाल में कुछ खाला नहीं था पूरी दाल ही खाली कम्प्लीटली इन्वॉल्व इन दिस एंड वंस वी फेस दिस पर्टिकुलर इश्यू we decided that yes we need to go with our own gps system and indeed india has successfully transplanted or india successfully made its own gps it would be in action since 2024 24 ke baad se aapke mobile mein gps nahi dikhega 24 ke baad after 2024 ye aage chalte jati hai pehle 18 bola tha fir 20 bola fir 22 bola ab bol rahe 24 chalte jayega because it is in development stage still okay what we have done india Has launched a statement. I R N S S. What is this? I R N S S. It is nothing but India's indigenously made G P S system. What is I R N S S? India's indigenously made G P S system. Okay. So Indian Regional Navigation Satellite System I R N S S. Modi ji changed its name. And what was the name given? N A B I K. N A B I C. Navi. Navigation through Indian constellations. Can it be? I see. Navik. The name Navik was given to this particular. Navik badla or kuch nahi. What is Navik? It is Indian GPS. After 2024, dekhte hai. Ho gaya to achhi baat hai. In your phones, you will not be having GPS. You will be having this. Okay. Let's see if we can make this on what you can say on record. Hota hai kya dekhte hai? Abhi to kuch nahi. Har baar aage dekhte hai. Shayad se aage fir se jayega because still infrastructure not that much there. Not of much concern. Leave it. So these all things we are going to learn in space. I hope you are going, you are getting this particular part. Just one word has so many meanings, or so so many things hidden in it. समझ में आ रहा है चंद्रयान है. चंद्रयान के बारे में सुना होगा आपने. India has sent a mission over there. Chandrayaan one was successful, and in fact, Chandrayaan one was the first ever project which proved that in moon or on moon surface you have water. As the presence of water on moon was proved by Chandrayaan one. No no US US satellite, no US drone, किसी को भी ये पता नहीं चला था पहली बार दन टू कॉमेंट ऑन दिस पर्टिकुलर थिंग विद्रूफ इन दिस पार्ट वी है और इसीलिए हम हमारा जो चंद्रयान टू मिशन था उसी पानी को ढूंढने के लिए उसी जगह पे जा रहा था दैट इज मून साउथ पोल देर देंस ऑफ वॉटर वेर स्पॉटेड बाई चंद्रयान वन ओके एंड वी हैव सेकेंड मिशन ऑल्सो वो देर बट इट वॉट कैन सेट हंड्रेड परसेंट सक्सेसफुल इट इज पार्शियली सक्सेसफुल So we are planning Chandrayaan three as well, but it was postponed due to COVID. 
now we'll, let's see when it would be in action covid ne sab kuch khatam karke rakha hai let's see when it would be moving we'll see that later so ye to cheeze thi second thing was uh, next thing is in the context of computers everyone knows computers as of today are driving a revolution so we'll be seeing the basics of computer first okay what are input output devices what is processing what are languages okay how the computer moved from first generation means what a computers which were full of a room to so the fifth generation computers which are can you see this just i can carry them in my hand initial the first generation computers are full of a room unko on karne ke liye 4 ghante lagte the band karne ke liye 4 ghante aur galti se jis room mein computer us room mein aapko garam aane pani se nahan lete the pasine se nahan itna garam hai rather today see for 3 hours or 4 hours if you are having 8 hours lecture you can sit in front of this computer for 8 hours body mein heat nahi hota okay so these are the things that we have developed in the computers we are going to see about the computers everything next part which is new to the syllabus means which is not present in your old syllabus which was added now is this robotics okay today robots are driving in itself a new revolution have you heard about sofia she is a human and robot she visited iit pawai and she had an interaction with the students over there as well so there is a country which has given citizenship to sofia yes saudi arabia okay saudi arabia is a country which gave citizenship to sofia okay and india is also having a similar robot which is going to assist india in the gaganyaan mission called as vyom mitra a human right you should know about this particular thing so robotics in itself are driving a new revolution what are scala robots what are program robots what are unprogrammed robots so different types of robots we are going to see in this particular topic of robotics okay a new part which is introduced this year okay talking about the next thing nano technology see every word in itself has a big topic involved okay robotics is just not robotics agar kisi ka background electrical engineering rahega to pata hoga kya hota hai wo but we are not going to go in that much details you have spent four uh, nearly two years in learning what is robots in your engineering if you are an engineer will not be spending that much time we will be just seeing its technical aspects some sort of things and then we will move forward just a basic understanding not more than that next comes nanotechnology i will tell you the importance of nanotechnology what nanotechnology can do okay do you know glass chalo glass ko bhul jao fiber sabhi ko pata hai we have seen fiber okay you can bend fiber easily by your hand this is cable this is a fiber plastic fiber okay i have a strength to bend it easily okay but see there is one more thing called as carbon fiber have you heard about this carbon fiber what is carbon fiber see graphite sabhi ko pata hoga what i am doing i am placing a small film of graphite matlab sort process karunga sirf upar rakhunga nahi aise sab chemical process i'll be placing a layer of graphite on this particular bottle aur uske baad baad if i place this bottle इसको पकड़ के सर पे मारूंगा ना सर फूट जाए सर छोड़ो इसको ऐसे फेंक के दीवार पे मारूंगा ना दीवार फूट जाए वाई बिकॉज इट वुड बी ट्रांसफॉर्म इन टू न्यू मटेरियल कॉल एस कार्बन फाइबर एंड दिस कार्बन फाइबर इज सपोज टू बी वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग इज शेप वाई इज इज पॉसिबल इट इज पॉसिबल इट टू नैनो टेक्निक समझ में आ रहा है इनफैक्ट इन यूएसए वॉट वी हैव डन वी आर हैविंग सम नैनो रोबोट्स वॉट दे वुड डू इफ यू आर हैविंग अ ब्लॉकेज इन योर हार्ट बिना सर्जरी के without a cut they would perform your operations they would clear out your blockages called as nano robots nano technology today what we can do is see there is a concept called as designer baby do you know what is designer baby if you want the way you want to have your baby you can do that means agar chahiye aapko ki aapke bachche mein shahrukh khan ke look se uski creation ki body chahiye aise jaisa dimag thi you can do everything to your baby but what is the thing is you will require three crores for mapping the gene of each person whose characteristics you want to involve in your way this is the thing genetically modified babies you will have the baby you wish you will have the baby you want this technologies are made possible due to nano okay we'll be seeing about this all things in details a big brief introduction there on myself also this all things comes under nano technology after this we'll talk about biotech what comes in biotech or what specifically is biotechnology today is revolution you are having vaccines have you heard about vaccines have you taken vaccine yes you might have taken vaccine so what vaccine does it stimulates your immunity or it develops your immunity for a particular thing bcg ka vaccine jab pehli baar lete hai to bachche mein bukhar aata hai 
Why? Because it's, it is just to test your immune response or to train your immune cells that if in future such virus or such bacteria comes to your body, you should have attack. You should attack on it or you should preserve your body from this particular polio virus. They uh, vaccine they just have. The vaccine does this. Way. The vaccine comes under this particular part. I'll tell you best example of biotechnology here. Everyone know initially we used to take insulin. The diabetic patients they used to take insulin. Injection they used to take. How they used to take insulin? What they used to do is horses, pigs. We need to derive insulin from them, and we should take from the injections. This obviously comes with infections or zoonotic diseases, but which they have. Problem tha. Solution kisne diya? Biotechnology. There's a technology called as mRNA technology. As of today, all the insulins are made from this mRNA. No need at all to see or to take the insulin from the horses or pigs. A revolution driven by science. I hope you guys are getting this particular thing. Vaccines, RT-PCR. How to identify whether you are suffering from COVID? COVID to naya tha. Pata tha kuch COVID ke baare mein. Who gave us the idea of COVID? It was the technology called as RT-PCR. Okay, RT-PCR was time-consuming to give you fast reaction. We have rapid antigen test. Rat kit. Okay, rapid man to panjala. Don't get it. Hardly can say two minutes. You'll get the results. Okay, rapid kits. Again, these are the outputs of biotechnology. See, initially there was a problem in Yavatmal. What was it? You plant cotton over there, and bollworm disease. Aaya sa taraya. They kai karta, kapsa madhe shirta, and they eat the seed which is present inside, making the whole cotton waste. Today, with the help of biotechnology, what we have done, we have developed the cotton, which is pest resistant. What is it called? Bt cotton. You might have heard about this particular thing, Bt cotton. Okay. These are the things that we are doing today, or we are making the things as of today. So you should know about this particular thing or biotechnology today. Okay. And see, here in biotechnology, we are learning about a disease, which most of us, even WHO said, 85% of the Indians are suffering from this particular disease. What is it called? Anyone knows? In fact, you are also suffering. I am also suffering. Everyone is suffering. 85% of the Indians are suffering from this disease. Which is it? It is called as MDR. Anyone knows? Online students can comment the answers. MDR, a disease to which 85% of Indians are prey. You, me, almost everyone. And this is because of our ill-concerned habits. Algarji pane mo. Oya purna khai chini. Kitu mo na ra do. It is called as multiple drug resistance. Means the medicine stopped working on you after a particular time. That medicine stopped working on you. This is called as multiple drug resistance. Sir, India is very prone, or it is open wound for this particular disease because Indians have a tendency. Could doctor ban? If you are having some throat issues, medical data to me, the rising through machine. Bhi. You do it by yourself, and this is leading to a disease called as multiple drug resistance. It will hamper you in a long end because no medicines would work for you. As a time, I will get better. Hopefully, it will not happen. Government is doing great things to avoid this. What they are doing, you can see. So these are the things that you should study. Biotechnology is very important. I I have seen almost every year. Okay, I have analyzed the papers of last five years, and two questions: one from biotech and one for uh, sorry, not computer. Just a minute. Second from IT. Every year the question is fixed on this. Two questions here are coming, and the rest of the two questions are different. They are going around. But two questions are fixed: one on biotech and one on IT. UPSC, not of MPSC. I am talking about the UPSC because MPSC still does not have any paper. I hope you are getting this. MPSC still does not have any paper. We'll be having the first paper of MPSC in 23. From then we'll get to know what is the trend. Up till now we are having only one benchmark. What is it? UPSC. If you trace UPSC, this is the trend. What I have given. Okay. And the last part of our syllabus is intellectual property rights. Why this is important? I'll tell you. See, in India it is a tradition. What is the tradition? If you have wounds, you apply turmeric. That turmeric heals your wound. Means, in short, turmeric has antiseptic properties. Pata hai sabhi koi? Kab se pata hai? Jab se hamare parents bache ho sabko. Chalo parents ko chhod do. 
जब से हमारे ग्रैंड पेरेंट्स देयर किड्स यू नो दिस पर्टिकुलर थिंग दैट अप्लाइंग टर्मरिक ऑन गुड्स एक्स एज एंटीसेप्टिक बट डू नो हु पेटेंटेड इट दिस इज अ पेटेंट इन द नेम ऑफ यूएस मिल्स सो वी हैव इश्यूज विद दिस वी हैव रेज्ड अ कंप्लेंट विद दिस अगेन वन मोर थिंग basmati rice a major concern what is the concern with basmati rice you know since what time india is having basmati rice since indus valley civilization harappa nan pani chikla pa harappa mohan jadaro from that uske bhi pehle se mehargara please padat mehargara from that we have the existence of basmati rice it was proved in a court hearing that india was having this since civilization and you are proposing it now 2008 mein patent file kiya tha ek banda aaya tha india aaya tha he took some seeds from here he planted it in ratnagiri eh, sorry in texas and gave a name tex mandi ye question mpsc mains ne puch bhi liya hai pal tex mandi t x n tex mandi basmati variety of and patent ke liye apply bhi kar diya bhai the thing was it was later challenged and all but these things are happening so ipr what is ipr is an important part intellectual property right copyright what is copyright what is patent what is registration what is trademark we going to learn all these things in this particular part sirf ipr likha hai but uske andar ye sab hota hai to samajh mein aa raha hai 1.5 ghante se hum discuss kar rahe hain ye jo teen line dikh rahe hain aapko teen line ye teen line mein kya kya aata hai is that clear now i hope you guys are getting the things again not talking about the references see वट एवर आई है अब तक मैंने डेढ़ घंटा जो भी डिस्कस किया है ये ट्रेलर था सिर्फ बट सी बहुत सी चीजें ऊपर से गिर रही थी बहुत सी चीजें अंदर गिर रही थी दिमाग में एंड टू मेन थिंग्स वुड हैव गॉन अब यूर हेड समथिंग यूर नॉट अंडरस्टैंडेबल वाई इज नॉट अंडरस्टैंडेबल बिकॉज सी द नेचर ऑफ सब्जेक्ट और द नेम ऑफ सब्जेक्ट वट इज द सब्जेक्ट साइंस एंड एंड टेक्नोलॉजी वट इज साइंस इज द बेसिक थिंग्स फिजिक्स केमिस्ट्री एंड बायोलॉजी जब तक फाउंडेशन नहीं बनेगा बिल्डिंग कहां से बने फर्स्ट थिंग यू शुड डू बिफोर कमिंग टू साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी क्लियर योर बेसिक्स नॉट डन विद द बेसिक्स यू नेवर गेट द थिंग्स और यू नेवर गेट द फुल बिल्डिंग विच यू आर प्रिज्यूमिंग टू कंस्ट्रक्ट ओके सो इनिशियली यू शुड लर्न दिस फिजिक्स केमिस्ट्री एंड बायोलॉजी एंड आफ्टर दैट एप्लीकेशन ऑफ फिजिक्स केमिस्ट्री एंड बायोलॉजी इज नथिंग बट टेक्नोलॉजी आई टेल यू वॉट इज द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ बायोलॉजी इट इज बायोटेक वॉट इज एप्लीकेशन ऑफ केमिस्ट्री इट इज फार्मासी what is the application of physics space it these all are supposed to be the examples of physics so to clear the basics is very important so what you should do initially before starting science you should what you should do what i assume you to do is read 6th to 10th books okay 6th to 10th books for general science 8 9 6 7 8 9 okay but see there are also ifs and buts to this how many of you are from science background means Till twelfth, you had science. Okay, what I would suggest for you that you go with eighth, ninth, and tenth only. Or, sabi ke liye bolunga. Pehle lo eighth ki book. Try to read. If you're getting things, then move forward. Agar eighth ki book samaj nahi aa rahi, you're not getting. Or if, if you are having difficulty to understand the eighth and ninth book, what you do? You just step one step down. What you need to read? We are the basics of seventh. Then go to eight. Then ninth. Then tenth. Eighty percent of the chances that seventh ki book samajh mein aayi. But still, if you are exception, twenty percent na the. Seventh ki book samajh mein nahi aayi. What you can do is you can go with the next book, which is it sixth. Go with the six hundred book and ninety nine point nine nine percent chances. Ye book samajh mein aayi. अगर ये भी बुक समझ में नहीं आती इफ यू आर फ्रॉम जीरो पॉइंट जीरो जीरो वन परसेंट कैटेगरी आई वुड सजेस्ट साइंस छोड़ दो नहीं हो पाएगा सिक्स के बुक में दिया गया है कि इफ यू पुट ऑयल ऑन वाटर ऑयल विल फ्लोट क्यों फ्लोट होगा वो दिया बर्ड फ्लाइंग एयर बाई दिटी टू फ्लाई ये दिया अगर ये समझ में नहीं आ रहा है तो मुझे नहीं लगता कि यू शुड गो विथ साइंस लीव साइंस एज एन ऑप्शन छोड़ दो कुछ नहीं होने वाला है आप साइंस के पॉइंट सो लास्ट वुड बी सिक्स यू शुड नॉट टेक फिफ्थ स्टैंडर्ड बुक आई विल नॉट एक्सेप्ट दैट कि यू आर परचेजिंग सिक्स फिफ्थ स्टैंडर्ड बुक एंड सी गाइस ट्रस्ट मी 90% लोग ये गलती करते हैं इसीलिए उनका कभी एग्जाम नहीं निकलता सिर्फ 10% लोगों का एग्जाम निकलता है डोंट अज्यूम दिस बुक्स ये तो बच्चे के बुक्स हैं मैं क्यों 
एंड दिस इज हिस्ट्री टॉक टू एनी वन दो उन्होंने रेफरेंस से पहले ये डेट किया इफ यू आर गिविंग मोर प्रेफरेंस टू रेफरेंस पंचवार्षिक योजना मध्य लागू फाइव प्लैक्स पहला वर्ष कहीं निगर दुसरे पन्नी तीसरे पन्नी चौथे कुछ प्रीचर जवरपास पांचवे वर्ष प्रीनिंग जो कहेल कि बुक्स इम्पॉर्टन्स ओके सो फर्स्ट थिंग यू शुड डू इज डोंट प्रिज्यूम दिस बुक्स टू बी स्मॉल किड्स बुक दीज आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बुक्स बिकॉज आई कैन शो यू द डायरेक्टली क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दिस पर्टिकुलर बुक्स इन प्रेलिम्स ओके रीड दिस बुक्स थरोली एटलीस्ट नॉट सिक्स सेवन बट एट नाइन टेन तो बहुत थरोली चाहिए मुझे आप लोगों से ओके दिस इज अ गेट वे If you're reading them, then everything is sorted. Okay, this is for science. Develop your understanding. Okay, and for science and tech, as of now, you don't have a well-fixed, defined book for science and tech because I told you it is supposed to be a dynamic subject. What you need to do is update yourself with. Current. This is the only thing that you can do for science and tech. Okay, update yourself with current. But what I think is this year, first year, so they would not be focusing more on current. So what they would do? They would be focusing on some sort of old current. So those three years, old current to focus. Karega. So what you can do is you can take either of these books. I'll put three names. Take any one of these books. Three no be lena nahi hai. Don't be fooled. Okay. Take either one of them. Which are those? The first reference book, or you can say the book which, as per me, is the best book, or which everyone should take, or you should refer this book, particular book. It is uh, Science and Technology Development by Ravi P. Agarwal. Ravi Agarwal, Science and Technology Development, one of the best book. If possible, go with this book, okay? Because he himself is working in the Science and Technology Department of Government of India, okay? So he would be knowing the policies much better than anyone else. Because the government is working. Student of APJ, please come. Yes. I am a student. Oh, great. Yes, because his book shows his knowledge. Okay, if you take this particular book. it shows and he is working with the government so whatever facts and figures he is doing, going to give you it would be the great so you can take this particular book, science and technology by p ravi agrahari okay ravi p agrahari one of the best book of science and technology second thing a person again science and technology development name would be same but his name is neeraj nachiketa okay neeraj nachiketa you can take either of these books and third is what old ho gaye ab koi refer nahi karta but if still you want an alternative then it is spectrum publication science and technology spectrum publication author ka naam yaad nahi aa raha hai mujhe but spectrum publication this is tmh tata megra hai aur iska koi to alag hi publication but this book is the best of this three this is the best and second best if you want to have कोर मतलब साइंस में बहुत ही इंटरेस्ट आ रहा है ना बाद में मजा आ रहा है साइंस में देन यू कैन गो विद दिस ओके ही हैज एन टारगेटेड अप्रोच विद द एग्जामिनेशन एंड ही क्लियर्स योर कांसेप्ट्स जस्ट कीप दिस थिंग इसमें जो भी दिया होगा ना ये एग्जाम और यूपीएससी के ओरिएंटेड बहुत सही है बट स्टिल वी डोंट नो व्हाट इज द नेचर ऑफ एमपीएससी सो आई विल नॉट सजेस्ट यू टू गो विद दिस इफ यू आर यूपीएससी स्टूडेंट्स आई वुड हैव टोल्ड यू टू गो विद दिस बुक बिकॉज़ ही सेस व्हाट एग्जैक्टली इज द करंट नेचर ऑफ द एग्जामिनेशन ही ट्रेन्स यू विद द करंट नेचर ऑफ द एग्जामिनेशन एंड ही focuses more on giving you the data for writing in your answers okay so it is based on your choice what to do but don't take this book generally i will not recommend this take either of these two books okay as of now till we get the nature of the examination go with this book once we get the nature we samjhega ki isi se continue karna hai ya isko lena hai until you later but till then focus on this book. what i would suggest any doubts from your end yeah just a minute we'll see the comments focus on ncert first i'll suggest go with ncert in spite of going for state books go for ncert ncert would be the great reference so go with ncert any doubts from your end if you have any queries you can ask make sure the things are clear you don't keep any doubts in your mind okay from the next lecture we'll be starting with the context and see one more thing now tech is in the main part correct but see mpsc has given you a small hint in this paper have anyone seen this year's paper in the prelims they have asked you about the distance measuring between the planets parallax method which is the part of space technology so they have given you a small hint that in future we are going to ask about the technology in prelims as well 
इट इज अप टू यू हाउ टू टेक दिस पर्टिकुलर उन्होंने दिखा दिया कि हम करने वाले अगर आप इसको नहीं देख रहे हो तो नेक्स्ट स्टेप सरप्राइज मिलेगा अपने को ओके सो इट हैज शोड अस दिस सो वी नीड टू गो विद दिस अप्रोच एज वेल वी नीड टू ट्रेन आवरसेल्स टू दिस अप्रोच एज वेल सो अपार्ट विद सॉल्विंग एमसीक्यूज वन मोर थिंग यू नीड टू डू इज राइट द आंसर्स बिकॉज़ इफ यू आर नॉट राइटिंग नो यूज आंसर लिख के ही ऑफिसर बनने वाले हो एमसीक्यू सॉल्व करके नहीं तो राइटिंग इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वी शुड फोकस मोर ऑन राइटिंग देन सॉल्विंग एमसीक्यूज एज ऑफ नाउ जब प्रीलिम्स ऐसे आ जाएंगे तब हमसे कितने बोलूँगा बट एस ऑफ नाउ यू हैव न्यू यू हैव क्रीम टू दिस पर्टिकुलर फील्ड व्हाट यू शुड डू यू शुड फोकस मोर ऑन राइटिंग द आंसर लर्न द आर्ट ऑफ राइटिंग एंड ट्रस्ट मी गाइस यू कैन नॉट लर्न राइटिंग आंसर्स इन वन और टू मंथ्स इट टेक्स नियरली सेवेन टू एट मंथ्स एंड � कोई भी एक्सपर्ट किसी से भी पूछ लो कोई बोलेगा नहीं कि एक रात में मैं आपको आंसर राइटिंग सीखा दूंगा इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल आंसर राइटिंग इन इटसेल्फ इज एन आर्ट व्हिच यू नीड टू रिफाइन योरसेल्फ एंड लर्न ओके सो दिस वर द थिंग्स हाउ वी विल बी टेकिंग साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी फॉरवर्ड दिस वाज एवरीथिंग अबाउट दिस सब्जेक्ट फ्रॉम माय ओके अब अगले बार जब मिलूंगा तब सिलेबस स्टार्ट ही करूं सो दिस इज द थिंग आई हैव गिवन यू एन ब्रीफ आईडिया अबाउट द थिंग्स इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेरीज फ्रॉम योर एंड यू कैन आस्क ओके In meanwhile, if you see in future also, if you have any queries related any subject or whatever we are discussing, this is my contact number. Okay, you can text me and you can just mention your batch from which you belong to, and we'll have a discussion on this particular topic or whatever your doubt would be. I will try to clear. Just uh, prefer this. Okay, generally. Don't go with calls. Prefer text. That would be great. Okay, so that's it for today. Uh, we'll stop the session. If you have any queries, your uh, queries from your end are welcome. Online students, you can comment your queries. I'll just give you the permission to unmute yourself. Till then, please raise your hands. Uh, those who are having any queries, and offline students, if you have any queries, you can ask. If anyone is having any query to ask, just raise your hands. I'll just I'll be just waiting for one minute. If there are no queries, yes, yes, Ajay. Sir, uh, what are the sources? Just a minute, uh, I can't hear you. E-learning department. Hello. 